Common Core State Standards, Math, 7th Grade, Expressions and Equations for Algebra 2A, Two-Step Inequalities, and uh, we're looking at solving two-step inequalities. And so let's look at this here. Um, two-step inequalities are solving equations with at least two operations. And this time, instead of equations, we're doing inequalities. So we're looking at greater than, less than, and uh, so forth. So let's start off with the first one. I think it's very, very similar to the equations, two-step equations, except for one little snag, so pay attention. So 3x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 16. So we're going to start on the x side, which is over here. And so we're going to subtract 4 on both sides. And when we subtract 4, 3x, you're left with that, is greater than or equal to 12. All right, and um, so that's done because of the property of subtraction of inequality. Uh, so uh, now you're left with 3x is greater than or equal to 12. Well, we're still on the x side, and we're going to divide by 3 on both sides because we're, x is being multiplied, so we undo it by dividing it, and we get x is greater than or equal to, stop, drop, divide, 4. And uh, so that is your answer. But instead of checking it, you are going to graph it. And so with graphing, all you really need are three points. You need a positive 4 and a negatory 4 and a 0. And those should be equally spaced. But anyways, you're going to look at it, and it says it is x is equal to 4. This little sign here is equal. So you're going to fill that in. But it's also greater than. So greater than, so you read it by the x, greater than 4. So that means that every solution, 4 and above, so like 5, 6, 7, 100, whatever, are all part are all answers because it's an inequality. So you have infinite numbers of answers. A little bit weird, but uh, you'll get the hang of it. So let's look at number two. We have uh, five plus four x, they just switched the order around a little bit, and is less than 33. Okay, uh, so we're gonna start on the x side, which is this side here. And we're going to subtract 5. They're trying to trick us, but we're too smart for that. And so we get 4x is less than uh, 28. 33 minus 5 is 28. Now we're still on the x side, and we're going to divide by 4 on both sides. Okay, and that is x is less than uh, 7. seven. So it's stop, drop, divide, and it's 7. And that's a 7. And now you need to graph it. So we're going to have 0, 7, and negative 7. And it says x is less than 7. It does not include 7, so you leave that open because it's just less than 7. But it includes all the answers less than 7, so like 6, 5, anything below 7 it includes. But it does not include 7. Thank you.